What's up guys, in this episode of FTP Speed Shop, my buddy Zach ran into an issue pinstriping a charity piece and we had to buff it out for him so he could re-pinstripe it and since he had his brushes wet, we decided to have him uh, pinstripe the cooler for the truck, so let's get to it. Remember, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Like, like and subscribe, tell a friend. I think that's the same as sharing. Not real good at this stuff. Well, I was attempting to pinstripe this panel right here, and I messed it up, and so I attempted to use uh, alcohol to wipe the pinstripes off and start over, which I've done many times. But this was painted this afternoon, so it didn't like that very much. So now we're going to attempt to fix it. Huh. Wax and grease remover, it looks brand new. It sounds like hell. Yeah, I really, put a bunch of scratches in it too really because dug into that. I was trying to salvage this. And I shouldn't have. Well, we'll see if we can put a little buff on it and oh, clean it up. If we can't unfuck it, then it's gonna have to get repainted tomorrow. And it's uh needs to be finished tomorrow? Yeah, the, the charity event that this is going to be auctioned off of at uh, is tomorrow. Look at all that shit. That's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty deep Looks scratch. like somebody did a burnout on that. Mm-hmm. It like melted into the clear coat, it almost looks sure like. Sure did. There, dang it. They're fucking deep too. What did you do to this thing? It it was the lacquer thinner as I was pulling the, the towel across, or not lacquer thinner, but the alcohol. As I was pulling it, it just, you know. God, that feels so gummy. That still feels so wet. Well, it was like, just sprayed today. Yeah, I'm literally poking dents in it with my finger. Don't do that then. The clear coat is super hot. Be careful wet. with it. Yeah, I literally just poked dents in it. It's that soft underneath. I'll there. make sure there's a little pinstripe line right over there. In the in the spirit of the reason pinstriping became popular anyway, uh, like Von Dutch said, it was for fixing scratches. Oh yeah. You know when they would use a big old grinder, like a grinder as big as your buffing pad, to mm -hmm. do body work back in the fifties or whatever, whenever it was. And heat or shit would shrink or. No. Well, yeah, I guess, or they just didn't do real good prep work, and you'd see scratches. Ten times better. Maybe more than ten times. At least fourteen, I would say. Oh man, I just smeared poopus all over it. What's poopus? It's like goopus, but shittier. <laughs> Oh, that is so soft still don't wipe that with anything well it's pretty hard because don't i don't know what i'm doing don't screw up Ugh. that's not possible bud come on bud you're better than that man you put some gouges in that bitch yeah well it's personalized now yeah hey that's that's good yeah, it's still got some scratches in it they're pretty deep that clear coat's super soft but looks better than it did yeah. All right, well, you have to send me a picture of that once it's all pinstriped. Well, in an hour, I will. Okay. So 
what's about to go down. Well, we're going to put crooked lines all over that, that cooler. Uh, cooler and then wipe it all back off. Probably and do that about two or three different times and, you know. And then just settle? Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Hard to, hard to know. Do you want to use the green paint that matches it? Nope. So this is uh, just a little omnichrome pencil, they call it. It's like a grease pencil. And I just like to make a couple lines. A little reference, reference marks. Yeah. So I'll just kind of put a line down the middle. And then it's cool because you can wipe it right back off if you want to, you know, when you're all done. Well, now you got to make another line. Well, the good news is this pencil is good for more than one line. Hmm. What, three or four? You could do, yeah, you could do three or four at least. Maybe a hundred. <clears throat> That's the truck paint. Ooh, it's crusty. It's been a little while since it's been open. Well, probably since about August. Is it shaking? I just shook it. it oh, looks, you did? It looks pretty shaken. All right. I can get you. Ooh, it smells good. I can get you a stick. I would like uh, some sort of shiny paper, like uh, an advertisement or something like that. You know. Will that magazine work right there? Yeah, magazines are great. Okay. You can wait for this magazine. Yeah. You might not get another one of these, though, because I bet you LMC is going to go out of business from coronavirus, so... Uh, I mean... Might be the last one. I think I have another. Alright. Maybe. Well, it's not every day that we, uh, we get a professional pinstriper in the garage. I'm not. <clears throat> it's not every day we get a mediocre pinstriper in the garage. I'm not. I'm a terrible... It's not every day we get a pinstriper at all in the garage? I don't even know if I could... If you could say that. I mean, I try to do it, but like once a year, I try it. Scooping paint, that's how you do it. Yeah. And just for the record, that paint's very expensive at Shopline. It is paint, it is expensive. It's, it's like Omni. This is for platinum PPG dealers only, actually. So it's not like Omni. It's it's much better mm -hmm. than Omni. That's okay. what I've been told before. Yeah. Well. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted to do uh, black <clears throat> on the bottom. You want to do black on the bottom? Mm -hmm. It'll match your soul. Thank you. Hey, how come you got a screw in there? I got a screw loose. Uh, this is the spout. And I got a nut in there too. To mix it? Yep. So you just flip it over and squirt it out? Yeah. You want me to show you? Yeah. That seems way easier than... Uh... Yep. It's pretty fucking sweet. And what's that? Lacker this is lacquer thinner. thinner, and I'm just going to use it to clean my fingers off because I got paint all over it. And as soon as you get paint on your fingers, it'll be all over this cooler, all over the side of the truck, on my face, you know, <laughs> wherever else. I use mineral spirits to kind of thin the, the pinstriping paint a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work good on the... Uh, platinum shop line oh yeah well no lacquer thinner cuts it we'll see how how this goes So there's a line. Hmm.
right, that's going to be a wrap for the pinstriping on the cooler. I think it turned out pretty cool for kind of on the whim. Uh, this teal color is actually the uh, paint we used, the base coat we used to paint the truck in. And the black is an enamel pinstriping paint. And the teal paint was actually reactivating the black and we were getting some smearing as we were dragging through it. So we'll touch that up at a later date. But I think it looks pretty cool. Adds a little, uh, a little something to the top of the cooler. It's pretty boring. So... That'll be it, and we'll see you on the next one.